Hi there, this is Johnny at Man and Machine. Um, I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a quick run through of five new updates inside of Revit 2021. There are more updates. These are just more general updates that might benefit everybody. Um, so it's not necessarily discipline specific. Um, but yeah, let's dive straight into it. So the first one I'm going to look at is to do with schedules. So if you've had to deal with very large schedules with very long um, amounts of columns in, inside of Revit, you can know that it can be a bit difficult to kind of pick out what's what. In 2020.1, you can now click on a line. Um, I think it's 2020.2, actually, sorry. And you can actually you get this blue line that goes across. So that was a handy update to be able to see exactly what was going on in the schedule further along in the columns. Um, now what you can do to help you even further is in the Appearance tab in your Options, you can actually stripe rows. So what this allows you to do is just set a color for each uh, stripe of your row. And this will then make it slightly easier, perhaps, to find exactly what you're looking for in those schedules. Do remember that you also have control and then the middle mouse wheel uh, to zoom in and out of schedules now. That was also an update. Um, so with all of these updates, it does make it a lot easier with larger schedules inside of Revit. So the second update we're going to be looking at is the render. So I actually had this open on the front screen. Um, they've done away with ray tracing now, so you won't be able to find ray trace anymore. Um, they've actually just made the realistic option inside of Revit a lot better. Um, so I've tested this against 2020 and it does look a lot better. So this will be easier now to do um, better looking renders to put inside your uh, sheets inside of Revit without needing an external package. Um, so it also makes the fly mode that we had uh, previously in 2020 a little bit better as well. So you can get nicer internal shots much, much more easily. So I'm using the WASD on my keyboard here to be able to fly around my model. Um, so that's a nice little update. The next update we'll look at is in the Manage tab, and it's to do with managing links. So we now have two new tabs in the Manage Links, uh, which is PDF and Images. Um, this makes it really easy now to find where PDFs or images are being used on the project. So I've got one PDF here being used somewhere um, on this project. And what I can do to find it is I can click on it and then I can hit show. Um, that's then going to take me directly to any sheets using that PDF. Um, so it's a really handy way to find things when you perhaps need to change the link uh, or, or anything like that. You can actually also now change from the link, uh, and this is new as well, to an import. Uh, so rather than it being linked, it can be imported. And actually, that is a new feature in itself. So in the insert tab, you now have the option to link a PDF rather than just import it. Um, so quite handy if you're getting regular updates to PDFs being sent to you and you want that to update automatically inside of Revit rather than having to keep on changing the imported PDF. Um, and likewise, like I say, with the, um, the managed links, you also have images. So it's very easy to find where these are and also um, what you've actually got in the project. And it's all in one handy place now, rather than you having to go to your images or your PDFs to perhaps to import it. So you can click on these and also hit show where they are placed. So that's very useful. Uh, the next one we'll look at is the um, filter enable option. So this is handy if you ever have loads and loads of filters in your views um, and you need to just turn some of them off, but it's really annoying to have to just delete them to actually not use them. So in this view here, if I've just got one filter on, um, and it's just changing this wall here to red. So if I head to my filters here, it's just a, a basic filter. Um, and previously, we only had this column here, visibility, uh, to be able to turn off or on filters. And that would actually get rid of the components that were inside that rule. And now what we can do is we can actually enable or disable the filter. So if I hit apply, the filter is no longer applied, but I don't need to delete the filter for it to not do anything when I'm using this. So really handy when you have 30 or 40 different filters and you don't want to have to delete them all, you just want to turn some off or on. So that's a really nice new little feature. And the last feature that I'm going to show you might be more useful for architects, but there may be some um, uses for others as well. It's the option now to slant walls um, without having to apply tap to mask face. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw uh, four walls so this could be useful perhaps if uh, you're drawing a mansard um, roof. So I'll just change that to two meters high. Um, so I've got my four walls and this new option I have cross section here allows me to change the wall from vertical to slanted and then give it a degree slope. So it's the wrong way for a mansard roof, so I just put a minus 20 there. 
and it's facing the right way now. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, that, like I said, there are other updates. Um, we will be releasing some videos about those updates later. I will be also releasing a video on some of the new Dynamo updates, so um, keep tuned for that. But yeah, like I said, hopefully this has been helpful. If there are any questions at all, please do get in touch with Man and Machine. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.